Our Father, our Lord, we say thank you. We worship your holy name. We glorify your mighty name. We magnify your holy name, Father. For another beautiful day, we say thank you. For your mercy, we say thank you. For your grace, we say thank you. For your love, we say thank you. For your protection, we say thank you. King of kings, we thank you. Shekinah glory, we thank you. Ancient of days, we thank you. I am that I am, we say thank you. Omnipotent, omnipresent, we say thank you. The lily of the valley, we say thank you. El Shaddai, we say thank you. Our deliverer, we say thank you. Our maker, we say thank you. Our benefactor, we say thank you. Thank you so much, Father, for making us more than conqueror, for strengthening us, for empowering us, we say thank you. We magnify your holy name. To you alone, Father, we say thank you. To you alone, we return the glory, the honor, and adoration. Thank you, Father, for another beautiful day. For the blessing that you have loaded us today again, we glorify your mighty name. We magnify your holy name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Kings. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. I greet you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. This is the day the Lord has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. My name is G.A. David from Richmond Hill, Canada. I'm here by the special grace of God. I'm here again to share with you the word of God to bless you, to empower you. Amen. It is well with your soul and everything that pertains to your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. By the special grace of God, this is the part three of the, uh, you know, of the uh, of the title that we have been, you know, talking on, that we have been talking about, that we have been sharing for over three weeks now. By the special grace of God, this is the part three, and what is the title? And for the benefit of people that have not been watching this program since we started this three um three week series, I uh, will advise you to as uh, you know find time as much as possible to watch the um first two episodes and I uh, believe you'll be blessed by the special grace of God. The title Knowing Who You Are by the special grace of God. This is the part three of the program, you know, of this title. And like I said, by the, you know, when we started the program, you know, when we started this series, I said, it is very important. Or let me put it this way, that it is not enough for a child of God not to know whom he or she is. We, you know, we give different kind of illustration examples, you know, for, you know, for, for anyone that doesn't know who, you know, anyone that doesn't know who he or she is. If you don't know whom you are, trust me, you likely not to be able to achieve what you are supposed to achieve. Hallelujah. Knowing, you know, this kind of title is it is it, you know is a is a title or let me say is it or this kind of message is a message that one has to be ruminating on that one has to be meditating on or that one has to let you know that one has to let it be placed permanently into someone's heart because it's very important if you don't know who you are is a you know it's very dangerous like i said not knowing who you are is very dangerous because when you don't know where you what you are carrying, how will you know how to how to act on what you are carrying? How will you know how to bring what you are carrying into existence? How will you know how to you know you know how to let those things that it has been that that has been planted in you be manifested? Hallelujah! I take my today's reading from the book of First John chapter three verse one. Um, verse 1 to first john chapter 3 verse 1 to 3 hallelujah i read behold 
What manner of love the Father has bestowed on us? Wow. 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 This is a loaded verse. Behold, that's look here. See what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us that we should be called children of God. Hallelujah. That we should be called children of God. You know, like, you know, one of the um, proof tests we used last week, if you read it very well, you see, our Lord Jesus Christ was talking, said, you know, after that, our Lord Jesus Christ was talking to us, saying that he never, you know, that he never saw us, you know, he, 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 has, he has not been seeing us as a, as, as a slave, but he has made known to us as friend that, you know, that anyone that slave cannot know what the master is doing. So our Lord never, our Lord not, never saw us as slave. You know, he sees us as children. He sees us as friends. You know, as a, as, as, as a child to father, you have 100% right to relate with your father, to ask questions, to do things, you know, when you, when you mature, to be able to, to, you know, to take control, to be taking control of things. You know, maybe your father has a company and you are mature enough to, to hold, handle the company. You know, your father has properties. You are, you are, you know, it is your own right and your duty to take charge once you are mature to be able to do that and to be doing it, to be, to be, to be, to be, you know, making it work. Hallelujah. So now what I'm saying in SS days, but a slave can never do that. There is no how a slave can just um, can just be acting like a you know like like a CEO in a company while the real son is there. So our Lord Jesus Christ was trying to tell us that He never saw us as a slave. He sees us as a friend. And here, if you read this Bible Bible verse very well. Now, what manner of love the Father has bestowed, on, has bestowed on us that we should be called children of God? So we are not the slave of God. We are children of God. That's what the Bible says. You know, Jesus Christ went to his people and they, they, and they accepted him not. And the Bible continues saying, but as many as received him, as many as received him, to them he gave right to become sons of God. Hallelujah. However, you have the right to become child of God. As, as soon as you receive as soon as you receive him, you have the right to become son of God. You have the right to become child of God. However, if you really if now the Bible now continues saying, but as many as led by the Spirit of God to them, they are children of God. As many as led by the Spirit of God, they are the children of God. And I want to ask you, have you been led by the Spirit of God? Have you allowed Holy Spirit to be putting you through? Are you, are, are you not leaning on, on your own understanding? The Bible says, trust in the Lord your God. You know, lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge Him in all you, in all you do and He shall direct your path. Are you not lean on your own understanding? Are you not lean on your own ability? Are you not believe? Are you not having that kind of belief that you can do it yourself? As soon as you believe that it is, it is not by power. The Bible says it's not by power, not by mind, but by my spirit. Says the Lord. As soon as you believe that these things cannot be done by you, it is only can be done by the Spirit of God. As soon as you believe that this, uh, these things, you know, the, that things cannot be, you cannot do it, it is just by the power of God. And you allow the Spirit of God to be putting you through, but whatsoever you want to do, you ask God first and you allow God to put you through. You want to ask God, you want to go out, you ask God before you go out, you want to do something, you ask God, you want to hit, you want to do anything. And you allow Holy Spirit to be putting you through. Congratulations, you are a child of God. However, some people, you know, some people are children of God. Some people, some people are children of God, but they don't know 
how powerful they are. They don't know what they are carrying. That is why this program has been in existence for over three weeks now. And it is very important for you to know what you are carrying. It is very important for you to know who you are. The Bible, the, 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 the Word of God tells us that, that God made heaven his you know, throne and made earth his footstool. You know, that is to tell you, for you to know how, how you know, how big God is, but as as big, you know, uh, uh, if you see how big God is, but as bigger as God is, He dwells in you. Hallelujah. So now you are carrying the presence of God. You are walking. You are as, as you are taking a step. God is with you. As you are doing everything, God is with you. As you are, you know, exploring everything, God is with you. But if you do not know or realize that God's presence, you will render that power, the presence, incapacitated. You will render that presence powerless in your life. That is why this program is very important for you to know. Try as much as possible. Test the presence of God in your life. I want you to put everything in action. In not your endeavor, let you know, put God in action. Whatsoever you want to do, put God in action. God is with you, and he will never forsake you. I continue reading the Bible, the, the, um, the book of 1 John chapter 3, verse 1, to, uh, verse 1 to 3. Behold, what manner of love and what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us that we should be called children of God. Therefore, the world does not know us. Hallelujah. The world does not know us. But you should know yourself because no one is going to celebrate you if you don't if, if you don't celebrate you know if you don't celebrate yourself no one is going to celebrate you and if you don't know yourself he's going to know you no one is going to know you if you don't know yourself because he did not know him because he did not know him beloved now we are children of God and it has not yet been revealed what we shall be but we know that when he is revealed, when he is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And everyone who has this hope in him purifies himself, just as he is pure. Hallelujah. You know, don't underestimate this title. This title is very powerful, and I pray Almighty God will give you better understanding of this title in the name of Jesus. It's very important for you to know who you are. If you don't know you who you are, you know, it may likely difficult. It may, it may be difficult for you to achieve what you, you know, what God has planted in you. It may be difficult for you to achieve, to bring your, you know, to bring what God has, you know, planted in you into, in, in, into existence, is it may be difficult for you to act according to how God wants you to be acting. You know, when you don't know who you are, you, you know, that's why you see some people, they are king, but they are acting like, a sl- they are acting like slaves. You know, that's why some people are king, they are kings, but they are acting like slaves. Because they don't know whom they are. Because they don't know what they are carrying. It's very important for you to know what you are carrying. And how will you know what you are carrying? By bringing, you know, by acting. You know, test the power you are carrying. Wake up in the morning, declare and decree. The Bible says, I've given you, I, you know, I, I have given unto you power to, to, you know, to walk, to train upon serpent and scorpion and over the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by enemies hurt you. I've given you power to, you know, to, that whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you lose on earth shall be lose, you know, in heaven. You know, how will you know who you are on if you have not been practicing it? You know, bringing the presence of God into, into, into action. Like I say, it's, you know, like what I just said, if you have not been acting upon that power, bringing that, you know, the presence of God into action, you know, the power, the power will just be dormant. But if you don't know what you are carrying, how will you be able to challenge 
or you know the challenge the test of time or the situation how will you be able to cast out anything that is not of god around you when you when you don't know the kind of power you are carrying work with confidence you know the bible says i've not been given i've not given you the spirit of fear but of mind of love and of a sound mind decree wake up in the morning say oh lord if you know there are some things you know as a child of god though you know that god has plans and purpose for you know for everything on the face of the earth for, for his children however there are some things that you you know it will get to a state that god will not want you to be asking anymore god want you to decree he said that you shall decree a thing and it shall be established and the light shall shine on that way so if you don't decree or you are so skeptical or you are afraid of 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 commanding of decreeing how, how would that situ- you know how would that thing come into manifestation you know it will get to a stage you know when when in the in the when you know god as a child of god the more you move closer to him the more you know him the more you have strength in him if you know maybe when you first know god you'll be asking god to do something for you oh lord i want this thing do it for me but it will get to a state that god will want you to go and command that thing to be done hallelujah you know, you don't, are you know, be asking God, oh Lord, Father, I want this. You ask God, you decree, you this thing, I want you to be done. Oh Lord, you know, at the initial stage, when you have not grown to a certain stage, you may be saying, oh Lord, every demon around me, oh Lord, let me, you know, let me cast them out. But you get to a stage that, you know, God will be seeing you. That's why sometimes when you are praying, that's why sometimes when some people are praying, it will look as if their prayer is not been answered, you know. It will look as if their prayer has not been answered. Because of what? They have graduated that, you know, they have graduated above how the, above the level of their, above the level they are, or that they are still operating. When you have graduated, when you have, you know, you know, when you have matured enough than the, above the level you are operating, it will just be as if a you know a king is acting like a slave. So a time will come, you know, if you have matured enough into a certain style, standard, you don't you will not ask God anymore to do something. You know, you will not be asking God to do something. You will not ask God to come and cast demon out for you. God will say He has given you the power. Now, about how will you be able to? out demon with confidence if you have not known whom you are or if you, are, if you don't know what you are carrying. That's why we, you know, we are, you know, this program is, is been, is been, um, is been treated for three, three weeks now and I believe Almighty God will give you better understanding of this word in the mighty name of Jesus. I just want to let you know that it's very important for you to know who you are and how will you know who you are? You know, act upon that word. The power of God is the word of God. Use that word. Tell God, Father, if it is by your will, I want this thing to happen this month. Father, something is trying to, you know, I'm, I'm not, you know, you ask God. Maybe you get to a certain area, you are not feeling the, you know, the, 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 the atmosphere there is not, it's not being conducive. You are feeling the, you know, the kinds of, but it's something that is not according to, to the presence of God. You you just you just cast out, you know, de- declare and, and send anything that is not around, you know, anything that is not making that atmosphere being palatable for you. Cast such thing out and send it to the pit of hell. And if you have that confidence in you and you, you are so bold to use that power, trust me, you see the press, you know, you you know, that moment you will know that something happened. But if you don't know who you are, if you don't know what you are carrying, if you, know, if you don't know that the presence of God is with you, that God dwells in you, and he answers, and he, he, he answers his children, and he, and he delivers them, and he does everything for them, you know, but how will you, how will you be able to act or use that power? That is why we are here to let you know that it's very important where even though when God has said something that you get, when God has promised you some things, you still need to act upon that thing for that thing to come to manifestation. But if you don't know the power you are carrying or whom you are carrying, how will you be able to bring it to manifestation with the power of God? Because as soon as you don't know whom you are carrying or what you are carrying or whom you are or who you are, 
you are rendering the power of God incapacitated in your life. You are rendering the power dormant in your life. And I pray, Almighty God, we give you better understanding of this word and teach you and guide you and let you know the power you are carrying and to let you know how important you are to in the presence of how important you are as a temple of God. And I pray, Almighty God, we strengthen you, empower you in the name of Jesus. As you are hearing the sound of my voice, I release unto you power to decree and to declare. To you know, I release unto power. I release unto you power to decree and to declare. I release unto you power to decree and to declare. I release unto you power to know who you are. I release unto you power to know whom you are carrying. I release unto to you power to know who you are, to know how powerful you are in the Lord. In the name of Jesus, be blessed, be, be blessed, be spirit-filled, be blessed, be spirit-filled, be blessed, be spirit-filled, arise and shine, be strengthened up, be strengthened up, arise and shine. I release unto you power to decree, to declare, to trend upon serpent and scorpion and over the power of the enemy and nothing shall by enemies hurt you. Take that power and start acting on it now in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. It is well with your soul and I believe by the special grace of God you have been blessed in the name of Jesus. It's just, I, I, we thank God, we give God the glory. This is the third week of this program. And then, you know, it's just like it's a three-week uh, series program because um, when, I, when the topic came and I, dis- and I realized that the topic is not something we can just treat in a, in a week and just abandon because it's very important. Because even though when, um, when, you have been, when God has promised you something or you have trained, you know, you... you you have dreamt and um, you have received different kind of prophecy from any man or, man or woman of God, and um, you are believing God for those things to come to manifestation. And uh, I want to let you know, as soon as you receive prophecy, or God promises something, or you have dreamt of good thing, that is that is even the time that you should be more prayerful, because enemy is there in order to chatter that you know to chatter that revelation. Enemy is there in order, in order to steal that. The Bible says, thief coming to kill, to steal, and to destroy. He is there to destroy, he is there to kill, or to, to, to destroy. But as soon as you receive the prophecy, or you dream about good things, or you receive the promise from God, that is even the, 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 you know, the time that you should be more prayerful in order for you to bring the promises of God, the purpose of God, you know, and, the, and the, that dream, and um, and that revelation into manifestation by the power in the in the in, you know the, by the power in the in prayer by acting pray always. However, if you don't know the power you are carrying, how will you be able to know? Even though if you don't know power you are carrying, you will just be praying and be doubting if the prayer will be answered or not. But as soon as you know the power you are carrying, even though if you pray for just five minutes, you believe, you believe that the that the prayer has been answered because you have tested it and you believe in it. Have you ever one day lay your hand on 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 you know on anyone that is sick or lay your hand? Maybe you are feeling as a child of God. The Bible says this this sign shall follow them. You know when they drink deadly things, they, they will not be hurt. When they when they you know when, when when they lay hands on sick and they will recover. When they walk on you know. When, when, when serpent by them, they will not be hurt. You know? So, as a child of God, you ought to know the power you are carrying. And you ought to know that even serpent cannot even come to your dwelling because the, the, the power, the, the, you have been given power to train upon them and nothing shall by any means hurt us. But it's very important for you to know that power and the power works and is always working and it, it will continue to work for you in the name of Jesus. I pray Almighty God will guide you, empower you, and teach you to know him the more. In the name of Jesus. My name is G.A. David. By the special grace of God, I believe if our Father tarries in coming, we shall be meeting again next week by the special grace of God. Till next week, stay in faith and remain blessed. Shalom.